Hey guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we'll be talking about how to improve the speed of your PC. This includes the boot times, the loading times, as well as the read and write speeds. So basically it covers everything. There are a lot of factors that actually affect your PC speed and performance. But out of them, storage drive is very important. A lot of people ignore this small thing and lose the maximum potential of your PC. Storage drives come in a lot of variants like you've got hard disk, SSDs and PCI SSDs. And out of all these, PCI SSDs offer super fast speeds. A regular SSD itself is very fast compared to a hard disk but an NVMe PCI SSD is almost 6 to 7 times faster than a regular SSD. And just by changing a simple storage drive on your PC, you can make your computer super fast, reduce all sorts of lags, delays, and get a max sequential transfer speeds of around 3000 Mbps. Crazy, right? So for that purpose, I bought this new NVMe SSD from Seagate, and in this video, we'll be checking it out. So here it is, the super fast NVMe SSD from Seagate. It's not that expensive also guys, it's quite affordable and offers a sequential read and write speeds of around 3000 Mbps. That is nuts guys, no hard disk or your regular SSD can match the speeds of an NVMe SSD. It's called the Barracuda 510 and it's a M.2 PCI Gen 3 NVMe SSD. So the drive comes in this sort of box packing and comes in a lot of capacity variants. The one I have is a 512 GB model. We've got the Seagate branding everywhere on the box and a picture of the drive on the front. The Barracuda 510 is an internal SSD with an M.2 2280 form factor and is suitable for a variety of devices. Like you can use it in your desktop PCs, compatible laptops and as well as mini PCs. Now that is what I call awesome. Okay, let's quickly get started with the unboxing. Let's open it and check out the drive. So here it is, our brand new PCIe Gen 3 NVMe SSD from Seagate. Comes nicely packed in this anti-static bag. And along with that, we also got a user manual and a warranty book. Just make sure to check them out. Now let me show you the SSD. So as you can see, the SSD comes in this anti-static cover. Let me take it out. So here it is, our new Barracuda 510 NVMe SSD from Seagate. It's got an M.2 2280 single-sided form factor and is very small and compact. Love the blue color and has a sticker at the top with the Seagate branding and says 512 GB capacity over here. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Now what I'll do is I'll show you how to install this drive in your computer. Installing NVMe M.2 SSDs is very simple, but before that, you should always check whether your motherboard has PCI Gen 3 M.2 slots on it. As you can see, my Aorus X470 motherboard has two M.2 slots, but one of them is Gen 3 and the other one is a Gen 2 slot. Make sure that you are installing the NVMe SSD in the Gen 3 M.2 slot, otherwise the performance of the drive will get limited. And in case your motherboard doesn't have the M.2 slot, then you can use a M.2 NVMe to a PCI 3.0 adapter to get your job done. So this is how you need to install it. Whenever you insert the drive, it stands in this inclined position, which is pretty normal. Now take the M.2 heatsink that you got with your motherboard and fix it on top of the NVMe SSD, just like this. And lastly, tighten up the heatsink with the provided screw. And that's it guys, you're all done and ready to use the drive. Alright, I've powered on my computer and as you can see the NVMe drive is right over here. I've already been using the drive for the past one week for all my recent projects and the drive was doing a good job. As you can see out of the box you get around 476 GB of usable space, which is plenty for an SSD that is solely dedicated for my work purpose. If you want more, it's also available in higher capacity variants. Ok, so let me tell you about the performance. Seagate says that the Barracuda 510 supports a max sequential data transfer rates of around 3000 Mbps. Well, we're gonna put that to a test in this video. We'll be running some benchmarks and check out the max read and write speeds. I've already ran the benchmarks in two different tools. On Crystal Diskmark, we got a max sequential data transfer rates of around 3361 Mbps. Holy smokes, that is nuts guys. It's almost 6 to 7 times faster than a regular SSD. And in the other benchmark, which is ASSSD benchmarks, we've got a max sequential speeds of around 2847 Mbps and a sequential write speeds of around 650 Mbps. The write speeds were a bit less than my expectations, but still, it's very fast when compared to a regular hard disk or a normal SSD. It's a great NVMe drive for the price with excellent transfer speeds. Though it's not the best and the fastest NVMe drive out there, for the price what you're paying, the Barracuda 510 was doing a great job. 
I was quite happy with the results. I mostly use this drive for 4K video editing and hardcore gaming and in that segment this drive never let me down. If it's your first time upgrading from a regular hard disk or an SSD to this NVMe drive from Seagate, you're gonna see a huge difference in the speeds. Let me know if you're interested in actually checking out a speed difference between hard disk, SSD and NVMe SSDs, I'll definitely make a dedicated video on that. Well, that's it guys, that was my simple solution to speed up your PC. The Seagate's Barracuda 510 is a good PCI Gen 3 SSD for both desktops as well as laptops and offers super fast transfer rates. It's available in 256 as well as 512 GB capacities. The 256 GB model costs around 4,500 rupees, while the 512 GB variant costs around 6 to 6,500 rupees. I'll just leave links to them in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.